Guys, I'm doing an awesome giveaway right now where there's a £100 worth of vouchers to be won. All we have to do to enter is leave a like on this video, subscribe, turn on my channel notifications, then comment done, and check the link in the description and enjoy the video. I don't know if this is a prank or if I should call it a prank or not, but basically, I'm going to be pranking everyone, okay? Every single person that has ever known me, apart from my mum and my sisters, of course. But basically, um, I'm going to be doing, uh, I don't know what to call it, I would say a mystery missing prank I've died prank I don't know what this is but basically in the group chat everyone's just being really deep and stuff about oh if I die no one really care no one it wouldn't matter if I died and stuff like that and that's, that just gave me an idea I was like why don't I go missing I even chose to do it at a certain time so it'll be a little bit more realistic like the time now is 11 22 if you can see that as of recording this Tommy and Kikisha are in on this yeah they know Tommy's gonna be my insider so is Kikisha they're all gonna be like posting on my social media and stuff and um right now I'm gonna go to the forest and take pictures and stuff and just make it look like make it look more realistic if you know what I mean so I'm gonna go do that now and I hope this all goes to plan because this is an amazing idea okay so I will see you guys in a little bit well, I don't even know if you guys can see me right now, but um, I'm currently on my way to the place, the forest. I'm going to take the pictures. Yeah, and I'm going to post them on Snapchat. And people are going to see. They're going to be like, what the hell is this kid doing? What's he doing? What's wrong with him? It's pretty spooky. I'll continue when I actually get there. Oh. <sighs> Well, I'm back now. Yeah, I'm sweating. I'm really hot because I don't know why. I wanted to get back quickly because it's really dark out there. I don't want to get killed, you know? But yeah, anyways, here are the things that I did post on my story. And I don't know, I didn't really want to post like something saying oh, I'm gonna kill myself or I'm going missing or something like that because that's just a bit too much. I just kind of want them to come up with their own kind of superstition or conclusion to whatever happened to me. And I did send Tommy a message to send into the group chat and kind of put on his messenger story and he's done that. And now we just wait basically for people's reactions. Tommy just sent me a screenshot from inside the group chat and he says that everyone's gone to sleep and there's only like one person awake and he seems pretty worried to be honest like he's like should we try calling them and stuff like that and I think we're getting a pretty good reaction to be honest but I'm just gonna be here I'm gonna start the timer not for long probably like 12 to 24 hours see how it goes I'm just gonna sit here edit my video I got this video that I'm editing you know I'm not gonna show you guys that I'm just gonna sit here edit that video and see how everything is going in the morning People are actually trying to call me. Like, I just missed the Facebook call from Corey. And people are full on messaging me. I'm getting loads of messages. It's pretty mad. I'm just gonna go to sleep now and hopefully in the morning it's not too hectic and I'm not just like blasting messages, but I will see you guys later. This is dangerous. Emily, Corey's girlfriend, has messaged him and I did kind of like tell Corey a little bit. I've just got another missed call people are messaging me saying everyone's worried and stuff getting calls honestly it is pretty mad like it, re it really is um i don't i don't know what to do okay well um people are actually kind of getting they're kind of clocking on if you know what i mean they kind of know like, i don't know how to explain it but i think they're kind of getting onto it they're kind of guessing that it's a prank or something people say that it's not real because i don't want to make anyone upset but obviously it will make people upset in a way and i just don't know what to do because i don't know what because uh, i don't really want to end it but it'll be a good video i'm just updating you guys you know People are calling me now. Oh, I really don't know what to do. People are calling me now. Ah. Ah. Oh, bro. People are calling me. They want to know where I am and stuff. And um, everyone's just getting stressed. And I just don't know what to do. Like, I can't go to sleep because people just keep ringing my phone and stuff. This is stressful. Like, it really is. Update. So I've just logged into Snapchat to see, just to see that 
Only, only a few people have messaged me. I'm, I'm actually really surprised. I didn't really think anyone cared, honestly. But yeah, if you guys are watching this, then I am really sorry for this, but I'm just really surprised and I'm really thankful that you guys actually do care. I'm, I'm just doing this to actually raise awareness of like the fact that things do happen to people and people do actually go through a lot of stuff behind closed doors that they don't actually tell anyone about until it's actually like too late. And it's just mental actually just you just need to know what's going on with your friends honestly and just know if they're okay so that's basically why i'm doing this i'll be back soon with another update if i haven't fallen asleep because my head is kind of hurting still from a while ago 3 28 a.m here's another update basically i've just um told tommy to tell my girlfriend that I actually am okay and everything and to stop being worried and just not to tell anyone and just kind of go along with it and yeah I've just turned the light off so you probably won't even be able to see me but I am gonna go sleep now I've got an absolutely banging headache and yeah I just need some sleep good night the next day welcome back here's another update the time is now 9 05 i'm not dead i'm pretty much alive and tommy and corey have now told the group chat and they now know that i'm alive so they have to stop worrying like they were anyway here's a few pictures and stuff Antini was like yeah he's a big man come on so that even shows they weren't really worried as much 12 o'clock midnight time is currently midnight you honestly don't understand the struggle i'm using a lamp as a light box you know for a light because the light in here is terrible i am legit using a light oh that's obviously what you'll do anyway you'll use a light for lighting what am i on about it's basically 24 hours now 24 hours are done i have actually completed 24 hours of being missing only a few people know like tommy corey and that's it really i've told a few friends i've told like two friends just because i didn't want them to get too worried but now i'm gonna open my snapchat messages like i just want to just end this right now 24 hours is over i'm gonna open a few messages ryan was like yo i'm gonna put yo back and who else and i'm just replying to everyone now to see what they say Tom messaged me, of course I'm alive man. And John was like, Sam, oi Sam, where the fuck are you? Sam, come back, you can't leave us like this. Wow, people legit thought I died. Oh, people actually care about me. All right, good bro, thank you, you had me worried all day yesterday. I'm just gonna say thanks for caring because honestly it's nice to know that you have friends and stuff who care about you who actually want to know where you are and stuff like that you just can't like take that for granted my personal advice to anyone who's watching now just like just try to be nice to everyone because you never know when you you could just never see that person ever again and you'll just regret it you'll feel it down in your heart like oh, i wish i wasn't like that to that person and it will just destroy you just deep down just like hopefully this video is just like a little message to just change how you are how you see people and stuff like that and yeah i'm gonna go check the group chat and see if people are like still worried about me and stuff like that and quill was saying he's so sorry there was no need for police uh, i'm really surprised that people are gonna call police anyway but that's all you know what the message was anyway the whole point of this was basically just to raise awareness you know like don't take your friends for granted because they can just be gone any minute you know just whatever you say could be the last thing you ever hear from them. and i just want you guys to just have that message and just enjoy the rest of your day so if you did enjoy this video be sure to leave a like and subscribe and thanks for nearly 7,000 subscribers and i'll see you in the next video peace also if you feel like you need some new clothes or you just feel naked just be sure to like check out my merch we've got this a pink shirt We've got a white shirt, even a beanie. Some new stuff are going to come soon, but for now, just check out the link in the description and shop away. Enjoy and treat yourself, okay? You deserve it.
Thank you.